Hello dear Sagittarius, this is Kathy from Divine Debut bringing you your reading from the first to the 15th of October of 2020. It is a love and general reading, general and love. Um, we are reading the energies obviously. Just letting you know that the month of October holds two full moons. The first is on the 1st of October. That's happening in the sign of Aries. And the second consecutive full moon will be happening on the 31st of October. So it's a blue moon because it's the second full moon in the same month. And it's happening on Halloween in the sign of Taurus. So October is not going to be an easy month. Let's see what's going on for you, dear Sagittarius. What are the energies that you're working with? We have the Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords. So in the deep past, we've got uh, a lot of stress, a lot of worry, too many thoughts around the Gemini energy. So this is your relationship to others. Now some of you may be um, needing to make a choice between two. The Lovers is a very powerful connection. This is a decision that you're needing to make in love okay because I do see strong desire here but I don't know I mean there's passion there's desire and there's creative energies here but there's too much thought around it some of you may be needing to make a choice between two let's see crowning this reading is the high priestess so high priestess can be very secretive this can speak of spiritual energies remember that she's all about intuition sometimes she's the third person in a love triangle a high priestess is Virgo Pisces as well Virgo and Pisces that's the axis of the high priestess remember she does speak of Pisces as well Pisces is all about clandestine relationships something hidden uh, a chapter that needs to end a karmic chapter what's showing up yeah so we've got the five of wands here let's take another card and we've got the hanging man wow there is the Piscean energy that I was just talking about interesting at the bottom of the deck we've got the knight of swords which can mean air so Aquarius Gemini or Libra this can be harsh communications a difficult truth there is a risk taken taken as you can see he's right on the edge of the cliff there is some sort of a risk with harsh energies of truth, maybe perception. This can speak of intelligence and taking action to communicate. We've also got the Piscean uh, Page of Cups, which can mean love, of course. It's a playful energy. Okay, some of you may be leaving a Gemini behind, uh, wanting to connect to a Piscean person. But there's conflict here, there's conflict, there's changes coming through. Remember that the uh, hanging man does see the light, he connects to spirit. This is a different way of seeing things, a different perception on things. And we've got the Ten of Swords. So dear Sagittarius, if you have been dealing with someone who's put all those swords in your back, you've got the Ten and the Nine. There, there has probably been deception. Okay. Now, as you can see in the Nine of Swords, someone is praying. She is praying, but she's got all these fears. She's fearing the worst. So could it be that you uh, could, could have been dealing with a deceptive uh, Gemini um, where they may have stepped out of this connection? Out of your connection if you were connected to a Gemini and they could be fearing that you will be finding out about the deception because they're praying here they're very scared of um, you severing ties with them that's what I feel here let's have a look now you could be dealing with someone that has got a child the uh, Piscean energy could be a child could be an apology as well 
that someone is hoping that you will accept dear Sagittarius that's what I feel there's been deception let's see the let's see what's going on with the romance angels Wow okay we've got a few cards that fell out I'm going to take them all so we've got financial issues finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going We have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Someone is probably hoping that you will forgive them, but uh, it does speak of karma. Healing family issues, we know that if the parents have not resolved their karma, the karma is put on to the children. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, especially with the Ace of Wands here, and this is your energy, obviously. I do feel as though you've got two people in the picture. Now, you've gone through many tests here. You've had financial crisis. You feel as though um, the love maybe was not balanced and when there is unrequited love, when there is unrequited love, obviously there is an imbalance, correct? So I feel here that some of you may have been dealing with a, a motherly figure who had a child. Okay, and I think that it was more about having fun, dear Sagittarius. I don't think that this was something serious. And maybe this was a relationship that you did not want others to know about, especially with a high priestess. Maybe this was a karmic uh, situation that you had to go through. Okay, some sort of a lesson. Okay, some sort of a lesson. It was more than likely only... Uh, only to do with I feel that from your side there was unrequited love okay and I do feel that this was something maybe uh, it may have been your karma it may have been the other person's karma but I do feel that there was unrequited love there was only a sexual connection here so therefore someone has had their options opened and I feel that it's you that you have met someone that you're much more passionate about someone that you want to create you want to build something on something long term okay and I feel that uh, you have felt more of a spiritual connection to this new person now you can flip the story around as well okay some of you may have had a partner that's done that to you let's take more cards Wow, and the Queen of Pentacles has come uh, has come through in the reverse, which means this is usually a mother. Okay, this is usually a mother, and because it came through in the reverse, um, I feel that this is more than likely the person you're dealing with. The person that is worried that you are going to let them go okay as I did I was saying that you're probably um, dealing with a motherly figure okay now the Queen of Pentacles can is usually my Virgo Virgo Capricorn card I do feel more that it's Virgo remember I did say that you may be dealing with another Piscean energy could be someone I feel that the fire energy is yours so maybe it was a karmic situation, the Virgo Piscean energy, the axis. Remember that it was a karmic situation that you were dealing with. Now this Queen of Pentacles is someone that is not happy. 
not happy. Maybe it's the Queen of Pentacles who is ha having sleepless nights because she feels um, as though you're not fully there. Let's see what this Nine of Swords is all about. And we've got the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is someone that wants balance, someone that is very popular. And I feel that this is your energy. Could also be that this Queen of Pentacles is someone that's very successful with what they do. Um, financially, they're standing quite strong. Let's take another card. And we've got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so we've got the Queen of Wands now and the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel that this is another side, more than likely, another side to this Queen of Pentacles. I do feel that where career is concerned, she is someone that's quite popular, well-known, uh, very creative. But, uh, of course, dear Sagittarius, you must follow your heart, right? Let's have a look at the lovers. Now, I'm going to say that, of course, the Queen of Pentacles could be the same person as the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Pentacles sits on the Ace of Wands here. So, therefore, um, this might be the same person who also has strong Gemini in their chart. Let's have a look at that lover's card. And we've got the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is usually my uh, offer that's coming back around. It is an offer that for some people, they could not accept it because of another connection. The timing was not right. Maybe this offer is coming back around. We are dealing with retrogrades. Let's take another card. And we've got the Four of Wands. So that's why this offer was not able to be accepted because of a commitment. Um, because of family. Or because of, I'm going to say, it could be your upbringing, your heritage. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the High Priestess. And we've got the Seven of Swords. So this is being sneaky and not speaking truthfully, not being open about where your heart really is. This could be you holding back on the information. Or, or dear Sagittarius, you've been dealing with someone who is not only a mother but was in a commitment as well because we've got the marriage card here let's take another card up here and we've got the star card and the star is aquarius aquarius can speak of the future this could be a uh, a relationship through social media could be someone that is maybe at a distance but you know the star is all, Aquarius is all about the truth, whereas the Seven of Swords is someone that's quite deceptive. Let's have a look at this uh, hanging man with the Five of Wands. Wow, a lot of the signs are getting the Three of Swords in this position here. I've had at least four signs getting the card, this card in this position. So again, we're dealing a lot with... Um, relationships there are disappointments it's a difficult month this could say that you need to wait more until you can finish this karmic cycle as changes need to happen but changes happen through divine timing now it's got to do a lot with truth and taking action on um, on a matter here speaking the truth or severing ties where there has been deception and no truth Let's have a look at that Knight of Swords. We've got Judgment, which can speak of a heavy judgment being made or being given some help, help through spirit. Remember, Judgment is also Scorpio, something needing to go through transformation. Something that has died is now being resurrected. Let's take another card. And we've got the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is um, not being 100% happy as those three cups are spilt in the past. So again, dear Sagittarius, obviously this could be a love triangle as well as you're making a choice. Now, could you be the third person that this Queen of Pentacles is trying to make a choice on? Now... Either you're in a commitment or this Queen of Pentacles is in a commitment. 
because we've got the Three of Swords here. And there may have been information missed in the past. So there was uh, something died, it stopped, um, and there was a lot of worry around it. Okay, this connection maybe was cut. There was ego here. Okay, as we know that the Queen of Wands, and I'm not reading reversals, could also be someone that's quite, um, quite egotistical, quite passionate, could have been a harsh fight where this connection ended. What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's have a look. And we've got the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a, of course, it's a door opening, but it's also a decision that needs to be made. Someone is ready to walk through that doorway, ready to make their desires happen. And we've got the full card, which is also Aries. So starting a brand new cycle, as long as the choice is made, dear Sagittarius, I feel as though, and we've got Aries energy here again, the uh, Page of Wands is the same as the full. It's the Minor Arcana. You are trying to create something. You're willing to take a risk, to take a risk, to resurrect something that maybe is a wish fulfillment for you. But may, if there have been lies and deception, um, you could be in a bit of a harsh situation where you don't want family to know about your true passion. Where is your passion? Where does your passion lie? And if you're if you're um, dealing with someone who is still in a commitment, maybe it's taking longer than expected, okay? Maybe you're hoping that this Queen of Pentacles is going to put an end to this connection of the past if she is the one that's making the choice between you and someone else. So it could go any way. Let's have a look at what Spirit has for you. And I'm sorry about the background noise, uh, but my kitty is making that noise. Eros is um, having some fun. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. And we have Angel of Diet and Nutrition. This is the Virgo card. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. So use your intuition. You intuitively, yes, you know what's good for you. And what is not good for you and you need to go by that remember that too much worry can bring on um, uh, health issues so try not to take things too seriously we do have stay optimistic about your love life here there is healing that you need to go through but you need to move towards what you are passionate about dear Sagittarius so yes I will leave it there I want to thank you so much for your support, for everything that you do, for liking, sharing and subscribing. Sending you much love, much light. See you next time.